81, 81.81 cents per thousand of assessed valuation. Um, does that translate into, if you have a $200,000 house, that's about $162 a year. But there's a couple of other aspects on that, one of which is that this starts in July of uh, 2014. And I know there have been questions about, is this adding on to the existing levy? No, it follows on to the existing levy. And in fact, is about a 37 cent increase over what's in the, the existing levy. So uh, that our assessed value can go up as, at most 3% a year. So you think in terms of city revenue going up 3%. Uh, but it turns out we've had uh, uh, other things going on in terms of depreciation from business uh, income and then you have things like HP, so it, it turns out our revenue, over our property tax revenue in the cities over the past three years has been flat to declining. And uh, we've had to deal with that on one hand, on the other hand we have increasing expenses. Uh, and when it comes to providing the services that we're trying to provide and do that, uh, where the expenses are going up, where significant parts of those expenses we don't control, uh, the pension expenses is one we have uh, essentially no control over it other than all of us going up to Salem and trying to get some changes in that if that's what we want to have occur. Uh, as well, we have the uh, medical insurance expenses uh, have been substantial increases over the years. And, uh, with whatever else is going on in insurance, and I won't go off into that digression, uh, we, still have our, <laughs> we still have a situation where we continually have to work with the employees and with the employee un unions to try and refine and manage these costs through redefinitions in the uh, uh, you know, medical insurance costs. We have difficulties with the growing student population and we've been sitting down for the past two and a half years working through with members of the community and city staff and, to, and OSU to work through what are ways that we can manage that, improve the situation. And one of the key things there has to do with uh, policing, community policing. Uh, and to be able to deal with that well is to have a sufficient number of officers to be able to deal with situations that occur around the city, whether they occur in the neighborhoods around OSU related to student population or elsewhere. Two minutes, so I get it.